they sent a very strong signal. And Les Moonves sounded so comfortable on that call. I think that was probably the sh most shocking thing. He sounded like there was absolutely nothing wrong. And I was all surprised that no investors probed him about it. I mean, come on, they were allowed to ask questions, but not a single one did. Yeah, long-winded introductions as well, apparently. I mean, you always have, if, if anybody's ever been on an earnings call, they know that there's all this legalese at the beginning and blah, 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 blah. This was the extended version of that, was it not? This was almost just trying to use time to avoid getting to questions. At least that's what it appeared like from the transcripts. Totally. They filibustered the thing. I mean, I listened to the first two intros. They ran up the clock for nearly a half hour. I only counted around five or six analyst questions. And remember, they can pick which analysts are going to ask the questions, which may have been why they were such softball questions. The other thing that was shocking, too, is that not only did people not bring it up, but they were giving some flowery compliments. Great earnings, great quarter. I mean, it was the biggest elephant in the room that just didn't get addressed. Yeah, no, and it's, listen, it's, it's an unfortunate, I think, because sometimes the sell-side analysts know that if, they, if they're the ones to bring it up, that maybe the company is not going to give them the access, I guess, down the road. I, that's the only reason I can think of that maybe the analyst community sort of dodged it or maybe their own lawyers told them, hey, listen, it's an ongoing investigation. Don't bring it up. We've got to get a CBS analyst on, obviously, to, to figure out exactly what happened. That aside, what do you believe, Sarah, from your reporting, and I appreciate your weekly notes, spectacular, is going to ultimately happen to Les Moonves? I think that CBS is going to conduct an investigation. And if with CBS's own investigation, remember they hired two law firms to do it, if they find conclusive evidence that Les Moonves put some of his employees in a position that wasn't best for their well-being, whether it was unwanted advances or some sort of misconduct, then Les Moonves will go. However, it appears as though the board and management team is on Les Moonves' side right now. And so if there's something that comes up from that report that's inconclusive, don't expect this company to push him out.